First of all, happy No Not November to all of you folks who still think that it's a good idea to, to totally break out of your habit cycle, out of a sheer challenge, right? Happy No Not November to those who woke up this morning thinking, oh shit, how can I get through this? And I have the answer to you, a video about how to be more consistent. And I first want to declare what consistency actually is and what the word means, right? Because how can you do something if you don't even know like what the fucking word means? Under consistency, I understand when it is when a habit that is built that you can execute without having to have discipline or motivation for it is built, right? It is when a habit is formed that helps you perform a previously difficult task and now you don't need discipline or motivation to do it. Let me tell you my personal story with consistency. I have not struggled to go to the gym for one and a half years now. I have not struggled with NoFap for one and a half years now. And what happened one and a half years ago that both of these events have, are in the time scale of one and a half years. One and a half years ago, I discovered the, princi the principles of consistency. The first principle is to make it fun, right? Make the, the habit fun, right? You know when a habit is attained, it, it takes probably like 60 to 100 days of consistent work to make it make to make it be a habit right and habits don't have to be fun but consistency always will have an aspect of fun to it because the gym is fun for me meditation is fun for me no not november or no fab in general is fun for me because i see that that my that my growth curve didn't only go like this right here it should have been like the most dis like the most disciplined shit right right here's what's the most fun the most discipline it took like here on the baseline that's where it took the most discipline right starting to fap again would probably take more discipline for me um than than like just continuing this way because i know how to not do it and it would be way more difficult to to like wrap my head around why i should do it right so that's the first thing, make it fun. And in terms of the gym, I will simply tell you to not listen to that workout Z's hot style music. I will tell you to listen to like music that you associate with having fun, right? You can of course go into this like metal phase and shit when you have like a really hot exercise like the leg extension, for example, right? Then you can go into this like Z's hard style and shit, right? When a habit, when like an, an, ex an exercise is very difficult. But otherwise, just listen to music that is fun to listen to, right? That would sound to some guy very fun, right? That, that he would associate with a party or something, right? I like to listen to Rihanna while I, while I train. And some people think that I'm a psychopath for that. But it's fun for me that way, right? Because while, while all the other people are in there like grunting, fucking not, not even going to like a 10 out of 10 of pain. Right? With their fucking super motivational music in their ears. I go to a pain level of 10. Literally 10. Literally, like, if I do one more rep, if I could do it, I would literally fade out because I would just get a blackout, right? And I'm doing that with fucking Rihanna in my ears, right? So you can probably imagine how I train, how I trained if I would listen to that hyper simulating sort of motivation music, right? And in terms of NoFab, I'd say just have a little bit of discipline. Just make it as fun as you can make it, right? Just involve a couple friends, right? Just make it fun. Whatever fun in this realm means for you. For me, it's always fun to like look to like look around me and ask people, hey, how is your NoFab streak doing? And they're saying like, okay, yeah, I'm at day three and then I motivate myself with their failure, right? It's probably a little bit cynical, but since I don't really care about these people that I ask it, right? It's probably my enemies who I want to demoralize anyway, right? I don't ask this to my friends, right? I just ask this to people who I want to demoralize anyway, right? So my enemies, people I don't like, you know? I ask them to get like a little bit of motivation if I need it, right? which happens like maybe once a year, okay? Once a year, that maybe would happen if I need a little bit of motivation, like after 
I, I had a football game, it's obviously a little more difficult because then my testosterone like shoots up, right? But you know, you can just go through this by like simply, um, by simply having fun with it, right? So first, the first kind of like temptation that you need to have when you're building consistency is to have fun doing it, right? The next thing I want to teach you is to, to kind of visualize yourself reaching your goal and to have a specific goal, right? I already taught how goal setting works and I won't go into much detail. Um, you can just watch the video that I've linked in the description below. The, the like the, 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 the top link, it's probably gonna be the top link. If not, look, just look for the YouTube link. I think you're not, I don't think that you're stupid enough to miss a fucking link to a video. So you can just watch that video and then, and there I will go into depth what like, what you need to do to set a legitimate goal, right? Um, the next sort of thing that you need to do is to get higher testosterone. Because with high testosterone, work will seem fun. Hard work will be fun if you have high testosterone, right? So build up a good level of testosterone, which I have explained a million times on how to do it in various testosterone videos that you can also watch in the link in the description, right? I will like say this is the testosterone video, this is the, this is the goal setting video, but you'll probably find it anyway, right? So... There's not really much to consistency that I that I can teach with like a trick to it. You always need to have discipline to build consistency, right? You may like write this down. You always need discipline to build consistency. But as soon as you've reached the level of discipline that I'm at, consistency will be fun, okay? It won't take discipline anymore at a certain point because you're just so used to having discipline that doing otherwise would be abnormal right it wouldn't seem normal to like be undisciplined right it would be like like learning maths like studying the the science of mathematics in a perfect way and then you're forced to to do everything wrong right that's how that's how the level of discipline that i'm at and that you will be at if you follow the principles outlined in this video will be right it's exactly the same you will but you will have more stress doing it wrong than doing it right you know <clears throat> this is why i kind of am able to laugh at no not november because i just think what the fuck like why is this so difficult i obviously understand why it's so difficult because you get t the, the temptations and you're not mindful at anything right there's obvious stuff that I could tell you, but you're probably doing it anyway, right? Like basic self-improvement stuff, like gratitude journaling, meditation, everything that you do in self-improvement, just with like one thing added that you're also probably doing anyway. Just try to be mindful 24 seven, right? Just try to always be mindful and always be in this meditation mindset, okay? You can't fail like this. Can't fail if you're constantly mindful. If you're not thinking about like that girl or this girl or that porn that you've watched or that gangbang porn that you've just watched, you're not going to get the temptations to fap, right? So make it difficult to fail should be the, the, the title of this video. And I'm maybe going to do it like this. But um, yeah, just... Just follow the videos that I've that I've posted in the in the fucking description of this video and follow the, the principles outlined in this video and you will make it difficult to to do it not, right? It'll take discipline for you to fap. Isn't that beautiful? Right now it probably takes you discipline to not fap, but in the future, in like five months, it will take you discipline to fap. This is the goal. This is the specific goal that I talk about in the goal setting video in the description. This is the specific goal. Your goal should be to make fapping and to make failing difficult. More difficult than just doing it right. This is your goal. Okay? Have a nice day. Live in gratitude and be mindful. Goodbye.